Hi, um, we're continuing with cell biology and life science in a nutshell. So we were learning about um, steroids, which we previously covered. Um, so again, um, steroids are like lipids and um, fats. Um, however, because they're big molecules that are um, hydrophobic and insoluble in water, however, Steroids have a four-ring structure, which makes them unique, three six-ring um, and one five-ring uh, cyc cyclic. <laughs> um, so um, that's steroids and hormones are steroids as well. So these control um, communication between cells and tissues and um, affect physiological activities. They affect such things as re uh, reproduction, development, <laughs> as well as um, osmo regulation, which is the maintenance of concentration of solutes in the system, um, as well as metabolism. So those are the roles of steroids. Examples of steroids are cholesterol and cortisol. Um, so... Um, the difference is cholesterol has a hydroxy group making it an alcohol or a sterol. Cholest um, cortisol does not. Um, so um, many steroids have the OH functional group. These steroids called um, sterols, they're classified as alcohols. So um, cholesterol is the most common steroid mainly synthesized in the liver and animal cells. Um, it is the precursor to many important steroid hormones like estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, secreted by the gonads and endocrine glands, which play an important role in the body's reproductive and development system. So um, cholesterol plays a role in synthesizing steroid hormones, aldosterone, which plays a role in asthma regulation, and cortisol, which plays a role in metabolism. Also, it's a precursor of bile salts, helping in emulsifying of fats and absorption of fats by cells. It is also a component of the plasma membrane of animal cells, aka the phospholipid bilayer, and um, which is in charge of the transport of materials and cellular recognition and cell-to-cell -cell communication, as we learned previously. Um, so steroids play an important role in the structure and the function of membranes. It has also been discovered that steroids can be active in the brain, where they affect the nervous system. These neurosteroids alter electrical activity in the brain. They can either activate or tone down receptors that communicate um, electrical um, messages from neurotransmitters. Since these neurosteroids can tone down receptors or decrease brain activity, they are often used in anesthetic medicines. So the next section, human nutrition, processes uh, by which substances in food are transformed into body tissues, provide energy for a full range of physical activities, mental activities, making up human life. So nutritional science is the interdisciplinary um, study involving not only physiology, biochemistry, and molecular biology, but also fields such as psychology and anthropology, which explore the influences of attitudes, beliefs, preferences, and cultural traditions on um, food-related choices, human nutrition further touches on economics and political science as the world community recognizes and responds to suffering and death caused by malnutrition. So in the next section, gluconeogenesis, we mentioned this earlier in previous videos, the glyoxylate cycle is a variation of the tricarboxylic acid cycle, which is an anabolic pathway occurring in plants, bacteria, protists, and fungi. So not animals. 
In microorganisms, the glyoxylate cycle allows cells to utilize simple carbon compounds as a carbon source when complex sources are not available, such as glucose. This glyoxylate cycle is generally assumed to be absent in animals with the exception of nematodes at the early stages of embryogenesis. In recent years, however, the detection of malate synthase MS and isocitrate lyase ICL key enzymes involved in the glyoxylate cycle in some animal tissue have raised questions regarding the evolutionary relationship of enzymes in bacteria and animals, suggesting animals encode alternative enzymes of the cycle that differ in function in non metazoan species. The citric acid cycle takes place in the inner mitochondrial membrane of animal cells. On the other hand, glyoxylase cycle occurs in germinating seeds of plants. <clears throat> the glyoxylase cycle utilizes five of the eight enzymes associated with the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Cit citri citrate, cit citrate synthase Aconitase, sesame hydrogenase, fumarase, and malate hydrogenase. So these are the five um, enzymes associated with the glyoxylate cycle. Five of the eight enzymes associated um, with with um, um, the tricarboxylic acid cycle. The two cycles differ in that in the glyoxylase cycle, isocitrate is um, converted into glyoxylate and succinate by ICL by isocitrate lysase instead of into alpha ketoglutarate. This bypasses the decarboxylation state stage um, or steps that um, take place in the TSA cycle, allowing simple carbon compounds to be used in the later synthesis of macromolecules, including glucose. Glyoxylate is subsequently combined with acetyl-CoA to produce malate, catalyzed by MS, or malate synthase, Mali is also formed in parallel um, from sesame by the action of sesame hydrogenase and fumarase. Fatty acids from lipids are commonly used as an energy source by vertebrates as fatty acids are degraded through beta oxidation into acetate molecules. This acetate bound to the active thiol group of coenzyme A enters the citric cycle or citric acid cycle, TSA cycle, where it is fully oxidized to carbon dioxide. This pathway thus allows cells to obtain energy from fat. To utilize acetate from fat for biosynthesis of carbohydrates, the glyoxylase cycle, whose initial reactions are identical to the TSA cycle, is used. Cell wall containing organisms such as plants, fungi, and bacteria require large amounts of carbohydrates during growth for the biosynthesis of complex structural polysaccharides such as cellulose, glucans, and chitin in um, the, these organisms in the absence of um, available carbohydrates, for example, in certain microbial environments or um, during seed germination in plants, the glyoxylate cycle permits the synthesis of glucose from lipids via acetate generated in fatty acid beta oxidation. So this is important, especially in plants, fungi, and bacteria. Um, the glyoxylate cycle bypasses the steps in the citric acid cycle um, where carbon is lost in the form of carbon dioxide. The two initial steps of glyoxylase cycle are identical to those in the citric acid cycle. 
acetate, citrate, isocitrate. In the next step, catalyzed by the first glyoxylate cycle enzyme, isocitrate, lysate, lyse, isocitrate, and cleavage into glyoxylate. Um, we'll continue in the next.